Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Rosemary's Baby, directed by Roman Polanski from 1968. Uh, so yes, we are back once again with discussing another horror from the channel. Uh, this is a film that I watched the day before Halloween, and uh, yeah, here to discuss it today. Uh, there will be a spoiler warning for this discussion, if you haven't seen this film, I simply recommend seeing it first, and then go back to this video, of course. And we can talk about this from the comments, and uh, all things horror. So yeah, with all that said, let's discuss my thoughts on this film, and uh, yes, what a film it is. Um, you know, I haven't seen this since, um, you know, I was you know, really, really young, and, uh, you know, it's the one that, you know, finally rewatching this, I haven't seen it um, again uh, all the way through, um, you know, and most of this film, you know, I didn't really remember, actually, um, just a, a couple of moments um, here and there, you know, the big, big moments of the film, um, yeah, but even then, um, a lot of this, as I was watching it, it didn't really come back to me, um, so it's kind of like a new experience entirely, and uh, it was great to do that, you know, and I think um, seeing it again, uh, you know, I can say, for me, and I know this is obviously, um, you know, often listed as one of the scariest films, um, and I would certainly agree uh, with that, you know, I really would. A lot of the time, um, you know, certain films, especially more modern films, um, you know, called, you know, really scary, and they're not necessarily scary um, to me uh, in, in that sense, and, uh, you know, it's a different kind of scary, uh, but with this film, uh, it generally is one of the scariest uh, and most disturbing, uh, you know, just, um, you know, real uh, get under your skin uh, kind of feeling films uh, that I've ever seen, um, probably in the top 10 actually, and uh, there's not really any, you know, violence outside of a couple of moments uh, in this film, uh, a couple of scenes, and uh, there's not really any gore either, and um, it's all just kind of implied, uh, you know, subtle, uh, you know, moments in this film, and just, you know, the atmosphere, the sense of dread, and um, the heat acting in this film, uh, you know, it just all adds to this, um, you know, the atmosphere kind of builds and builds, and all these moments uh, of all these different characters, um, threads, and, and moments you just, kind of think something's off at first and it all comes together in the end and uh, yeah by the end definitely one of the 10 uh, most disturbing films I've ever seen um, so there we go it just completely um, you know creeped me out really and uh, it's just of course Rosemary and Guy kind of move into this New York apartment and uh, there's kind of warnings at first and uh, you have uh, Hutch in this film as well and um, you know he's a great character and um, yeah it's he does kind of warn Rosemary and, and say, you know, kind of uh, watch out and all this kind of stuff. Shortly after this, uh, kind of moving in, uh, they meet this elderly couple and uh, Minnie and Roman Castavet, and uh, we have Ruth Gordon playing Minnie and um, we have Sydney Blackmer playing uh, Roman Castavet and uh, this elderly couple who, you know, there's something off and, uh, you know, I really didn't remember, as I say, most of this film, um, so I kind of, um, it was a new experience and, you know, with that, you know, I think this whole kind of um, couple, um, I didn't remember anything really that happened with them, um, so, the whole point of, you know, them um, being these devil worshippers and, um, you know, the occult uh, and, you know, being, um, you know, kind of the main villains of the film, the ones that are in charge of this, uh, you know, whole kind of plot um, against Rosemary, her baby, and um, even Guy being involved, um, you know, this is very, very scary. And at first, um, it's just kind of these slightly irritating, uh, yeah, uh, kind of characters, and uh, then... You know, it soon escalates into, um, you know, from irritating and kind of um, getting in the way a lot um, to, you know, real disturbing stuff. And, uh, you know, I think Ruth Gordon, and you know, she got an Oscar for this film, uh, Best Supporting Actress, and, uh, you know, I can see why she is so great in this film. Uh, unbelievable. And um, I think the scariest character, though, is Roman Castavet. Um, I think, you know, this is just one of the scariest characters really in the film. There's moments when Hutch is kind of um, just talking to Rosemary, uh, you know, in the apartment, and um, Roman is there as well uh, for some reason and uh, you know he's just there and he's you just see the camera kind of um, you know out of focus obviously on, on Roman's face um, slightly you know, he's you know, in the background but you can just see him leering um, you know at Hutch uh, you're watching him the whole time it's moments like this you know throughout the film uh, where we just have uh, different characters leering uh, you know Rosemary and, and stuff going on uh, people in the background uh, subtle moments uh, where you just think that's really off that was weird and uh, it does add up to you know something because most of these characters, that's one of the most disturbing things, uh, is, you know, most of them are involved uh, in this plot, and uh, they're all kind of, in some way, even Abe Saperstein, um, the Doctor, uh, played by Ralph Bellamy, um, who is one of the greatest characters in the film, and again, one of the most disturbing horror characters, um, they're all in on this, um, to kind of deliver, you know, this baby, um, you know, and actually, obviously, bring this son of the devil uh, into the world, and uh, they are devil worshippers, and uh, it's just so disturbing, uh, you know, it just... It's something I got so wrapped up in and it felt like it was actually happening, um, you know, it's so um, kind of grounded at times, um, you know, it's not, as I say, not really too much shown. Uh, obviously, we do have this very, very shocking and disturbing moment uh, that I did remember and uh, it's obviously um, referenced in different films uh, where we have, yeah, a very big moment with, you know, the devil and Rosemary uh, in this kind of dreamlike uh, effect um, set of sequences and uh, early on, of course, in the film. Um, so quite shocking that it is early on as well, um, this, you know, massive 
moment here, and um, yeah, it's just one of the most shocking, uh, gross, kind of disturbing moments you know I've seen in a long, long time, and uh, it's just you know kind of seeing you know the devil's face, you know at times, uh, and it's just ah uh, you know this really, really freaks me out, and uh, it's just so sad as well because um, you know even straight away after that, um, you know that's the moment when um, you know I thought ah uh, Guy is in on this um, for sure, um, you know John Cassavetes of course playing Guy um, so so well, um, but you know he says afterwards. Uh, some stuff, you know, after, you know, this this whole kind of moment, um, after Rosemary says, you know, things, you know, that she, she dreamt and all this kind of stuff, and, um, you know, I knew straight away, okay, guys in on this, and, uh, you know, it's just, everyone is kind of involved, kind of, you know, in this plot, and uh, it's just so scary for that. And me and Farrow playing, you know, this character of Rosemary so, so well, um, you know, I would say, at times, uh, she is perfect in this film, uh, just, you know, as this pure, innocent character, um, this woman who, you know, it's just um, naive, and uh, then slowly as you know, as the film goes on, she learns more and more about this plot, and um, you know, she kind of researches into the occult, and um, you know, Hutch, of course, um, gives you know this kind of uh, book to um, her, and you know about witches and witchcraft, and um, you know, it kind of um, gradually unfolds from there, and uh, I think when she starts to really uh, kind of start to yeah research um, this whole kind of stuff, and uh, you know, really catch on to um, something not being right, uh, that's when the film. Is from then on really, uh, you know, absolutely masterful. And uh, you know, I will say, early on, um, we've got, I think, really the first 25, 30 minutes. Um, it's just a couple of scenes uh, here and there that don't really, um, you know, quite do it for me. You know, in that sense, I mean, they're not, they're quite amazing uh, kind of stuff. Uh, they are very good. Um, you know, I think the entire film uh, there was never a point where it was less than really, really good. Um, but I think just a couple of moments, uh, mainly just with Guy and, and you know Rosemary, I think at first um, just weren't quite, you know. Uh, weren't quite there, um, they just lacked something a bit flat and a bit maybe unnecessary and uh, I didn't quite feel uh, the, um, you know, the emotion and, uh, and all this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I think a scene when, you know, they're kind of taking their clothes off and stuff, um, you know, as well in the dark, uh, you know, that one of the, that's one of the scenes I just think it was a bit unnecessary and it didn't really go anywhere, you know, and I think it was just a bit strange uh, to put that in a film, uh, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, just a, a couple of moments, but really whenever they're with, um, you know, the other characters, like, Roman and Mini, uh, you know, I think it was, um, you know, the standard of the rest of the film, uh, but really the half an hour mark uh, is when it kind of really picks up and uh, from then on it is mostly masterful and, uh, it, you know, one of the best horror films I've ever seen personally and, uh, you know, I think the final act of this, um, other than the very, very, you know, ending outcome uh, with Rosemary and the actual baby, of course, um, I think, um, you know, yeah, the rest of the film, uh, you know, in that final act, uh, for me, is absolutely masterful and, uh, you know, just some of the very, very best uh, stuff I've seen in a, you know, a final act of any horror, um, you know, actually, and, uh, you know, I think just um, that is the best uh, kind of portion of this film when she kind of goes into, you know, through the secret passageway, you know, behind the kind of cupboard, the wardrobe there, um, that is just, you know, and she goes in and there's all these, uh, you know, the set decoration here, you know, it's absolutely stunning and uh, that whole kind of moment she sees paintings and stuff and uh, then she goes through it. And it's this entire group, um, different people from around the world as well, and kind of uh, almost tourist-like, um, you know, kind of effects are here, all coming to see this baby and, uh, you know, just all kind of being part of this, um, you know, the occult, uh, you know, these devil worshippers, uh, you know, that is one of the most disturbing, uh, you know, moments in any film. And, uh, you know, I just think it is this kind of um, huge reveal, even though we kind of know different characters, just to see them all together, um, you know, over that way, seeing them all gathered around, uh, you know, just the kind of um, the staging there, the blocking uh, of all the characters, and uh, seeing you know, the camera just moving as well, you know, to um, panning to Guy as well, you know, his reaction, him kind of standing up, being startled, and, uh, and then going back down, trying to compose himself. Uh, it's just moments like this, absolutely genius. Just the moment when, you know, Rosemary goes up to the cot, and, uh, you know, she looks at the baby and uh, wants to see her son, and uh, then the shocked reaction, of course, and she says, you know, what have you done to its eyes? Um, that, you know, is one of the most disturbing things, uh, you know, they've ever heard, you know, in the film. Obviously, we don't actually see the baby, um, of course, and I think that is, you know, great because we don't, you know, it leaves it up to our imagination and uh, we have this kind of flash of, um, I think that was more, you know, the actual devil and not the actual, you know, the kid, of course, and, uh, you know, it just flashes very, very quickly, that kind of image there, uh, going back to the uh, earlier part of the film, uh, but, of course, you know, saying about its hands and feet as well, you know, it's just really disturbing stuff here and um, the fact that everyone is just sort of, um, the way they're all acting here is, is really uh, one of the most affecting things I've ever seen and uh, you know I think as well you know kind of uh, we have obviously then Rosemary uh, you know kind of it seems like it's implied uh, she's just gonna you know kind of uh, yeah look after the kid um, which obviously is not you know kind of um, 
that, you know, kind of that surprising, uh, but I think just the way that was done, uh, the very, very ending um, was a bit, hmm, it could have been a bit more uh, kind of uh, solid there. Um, you know, I think it was a bit too uh, potentially ambiguous. And also, um, you know, I wasn't, just wasn't quite sure about, uh, you know, how that, you know, kind of um, abruptly happened, uh, you know, from, you know, all the shock and stuff. It was just the way it was done, uh, you know, it wasn't quite perfect for me, um, but the rest of the final act was, uh, it was absolutely flawless. And I think just um, when she's before, you know, going to the, back to the apartment and go through the kind of the passageway uh, into that you know, uh, kind of uh, room there, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, she's going trying to see Dr. Hill. Um, you know, this is one of the doctors who she wanted to see all along. And uh, we have um, you know, obviously um, most of the characters saying you have to see Abe Saperstein. And uh, Abe Saperstein is a name, you know, I won't forget in a hurry. Um, a lot of the characters in this film, I just won't forget, you know, because they were so kind of uh, disturbing and hearing their names constantly. And just, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, so you know, invested in this film and enraptured uh, that I was kind of uh, you know part of this world uh, so much. Um, so I remembered all these names uh, so vividly, and whenever they you know someone was talking about these characters, uh, you know, it just kind of um, I got disturbed. Um, you know, it's really effective to do that. You know, the way it was done in this film, everyone you know matters. Um, even characters early on that never really show up again. Uh, they all kind of had an effect on the film, and uh, you know, I remember their names so well, and uh, they have such an effect on me. Um, so that is really something to praise about this film, the writing and uh, even just the way the film was edited as well um, has that effect. Um, we get, you know, gradually throughout the film, a lot of different characters, the progression uh, is done so well. Uh, you know, I think Hutch in this film, played by Maurice Evans, uh, you know, is such a great character and, uh, you know, really the only kind of true warm presence, you know, in this film of a character who's innocent um, because, you know, Dr. Hill, um, even in the end, uh, that was one of the scariest moments as well and just kind of defeatist moments uh, really uh, for Rosemary. Um, she thinks she can turn to him and uh, you know when he said he was going to meet her you know at eight o'clock um, you know I thought you know that was a bit a bit strange the way he said that you know on the phone and all this kind of stuff um, but you know and in the phone booth um, we have a moment where it looks like Abe is kind of standing uh, you, know, you know just outside the phone booth with his back to her and uh, then he kind of goes off and uh, you know I was thinking uh, you know wow this this can't get any more disturbing uh, and you know more tense uh, than it is and uh, then he comes back, uh, you know, I thought, and uh, he turned around. Luckily, it was someone else, um, of course. Um, but, you know, just, um, you know, who knows? It could have been, you know, I was thinking uh, it could have been, you know, Abe. And uh, then he went off, um, you know, because he'd heard what was being said and uh, alerted um, Dr. Hill and uh, potentially. I'm still not sure, you know, I've not looked into this after the fact, obviously. But I'm not too sure exactly um, what happened with Dr. Hill. That's one of the things that's quite baffling, uh, you know, quite more of a mystery to me, you, know, you could say, in that sense, than, uh, you know, just how you know he was uh, part of this uh, group as well, and uh, how was he turned uh, at a later point? Uh, or was he all along just part of this? And uh, you know, because why were they kind of trying to um, dissuade her from going to Doctor Hill if he was part of this anyway? Um, so you know, it kind of made me feel um, that later on in the film uh, they kind of converted him, uh, you know, at some point in the narrative, uh, or really potentially even that, that final, you know, that, uh, last few hours. Who knows? Um, but you know, he did say um, some suspicious stuff at first as well. You know. When he, when she came in and, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, this this guy is also part of this, um, you know, kind of cult and uh, he just kind of gives her over to Abe and, and Guy again and uh, it's just, it's like she can't escape. Uh, that's one of the things about this film that's done so well, the theme of paranoia and, um, you know, just the fact that everyone's in on it, you know, it's just, it's so affecting and it really got to me, uh, you know, I must say, and uh, you're just so on edge, so tense and uh, you know, disturbing. The way it kind of... Um, as well, you know, subtle moments and, you know, just gets under the skin, you know, the chanting, you know, ah, oh, you know, um, if I heard this at night, you know, you know, chanting like this, uh, it would just be one who would creep me out, I wouldn't be able to sleep, um, you know, we just kind of hear this chanting, of course, in the apartments and the fact that it is, you know, kind of this urban horror, uh, you know, it just elevates the film uh, so much um, because, you know, a lot of horror films obviously are, you know, not set in, in cities like this, uh, in apartment buildings, there are some, of course, um, you know, some some famous ones, uh, but you know, this is one of the, it's more of a rare occurrence, uh, let's just say that, than you know, in the countryside, in these uh, kind of mansions and, you know, old crooked houses and stuff like this, um, you know, to see this in an urban setting elevates the film and uh, it just is way more scary and kind of believable in the way this is done for this particular film. And, uh, you know, I think just um, when we have as well the kind of merging of fantasy and reality, especially at first uh, when she's dreaming and, uh, you know, it's just kind of it's really, really gets under my skin and, uh, you know, kind of the floating effect and, uh, you know, whole kind of feeling that the people are around you in the room, even though you're sleeping and it's kind of just part of, you know, your reality. It's just so, so horrible. And, uh, you know, the fact that Guy obviously is in on this really from the get-go, we have the, the kind of, um, yeah, 
the first kind of a party or gathering that they have, you know, the neighbours, um, that's when, you know, things clearly kind of um, started there. You know, some strange looks between Guy and, uh, of course, Roman uh, Castavet and, uh, you know, just, you know, him saying uh, he's got some interesting stories and uh, it seems very, you know, wrapped up in this and, uh, you know, he says he's going to go back um, for, you know, some more, to hear some more stories, uh, to go and see him. Uh, that's when I thought, you know, why would he say that? You know, at first he was very hesitant and he didn't want to, to meet these characters um, and then, you know, he's just kind of saying that. Obviously, that is when, you know, he's kind of um, converted, you could say, and, uh, you know, to further his career, you know, in the kind of stage acting, uh, this is the, the reason, you know, that he takes, you know, this kind of, um, you know, he accepts this and, uh, you know, it's just, it really is horrible and, uh, you know, so shocking that and, uh, you know, he would kind of give up, you know, his wife and, uh, you know, his baby, um, you know, to the devil in that sense and, uh, you know, to kind of, you know, for joining this, this group here, it's just so, so disturbing, uh, you know, it really, really is and uh, it's just so believable. I think John Cassavetes in this film is great and, uh, you know, as well, just that kind of, the conflict at times uh, between them and uh, you know, it's really more elevated though um, when they're kind of together with Minnie and Roman and, uh, you know, it's this whole kind of group dynamic and uh, you know, just, uh, you know, Minnie does get under the skin uh, very quickly. Roman is one of a, more of a character who kind of grows uh, to become the more disturbing one, uh, you know, of the group and, uh, you know, I think just all, all the other characters that kind of have throughout the film, uh, Abe as well, Abe Saperstein, uh, it's just such a great character. I think Ralph Bellamy uh, plays him perfectly in this film and uh, quite a, yeah, it's quite a kind of different role, you know, me seeing him in, um, you know, many, many decades before, you know, The Awful Truth, uh, you know, films like this, uh, you know, it's just a very different role for him and, uh, you know, I think he's just great in this film and, uh, you know, really, really scary stuff and uh, just the whole way in which, you know, the Doctor even is involved in this, it's just, it can't be more, you know, kind of shocking and uh, disturbing uh, really and, uh, yeah, Doctor Hill, when we think there's kind of this safe haven for her, you know, it doesn't, doesn't, uh, of course, come about and um, she can't escape, it seems like. And that's one of the, yeah, as I say, the paranoia, the, the theme of, uh, you know, not being able to escape all these different characters, um, like there's nowhere to turn. Uh, that is something that's done so, so well and uh, even more kind of elevated because, you know, how pure and innocent and just naive and, you know, um, likeable Rosemary is. And, uh, you know, I rooted from, from the get-go, you know, for Rosemary and uh, I think Mia Farrow is just, as I say, great in this film and, uh, you know, I think just... The contrast between her and everyone around her, just the way that's done uh, is so, so great. And uh, yeah, the visuals to this film are absolutely stunning. Uh, you know, at times just the kind of muted effect actually as well of the apartment, you know, kind of, you know, not necessarily shabby, um, but you know, the kind of dull muted effect um, that the apartment has, um, you know, kind of just adds to the experience and the atmosphere. And, uh, you know, I think just as well, you know, that contrasted with the kind of bright colors, you know, and all the wallpaper and just the kind of design of the final act, you know, that, that kind of room uh, next door um, with everyone gathering, of course, and just uh, the cots being black and uh, just different moments in the film, uh, you know, these bright moments that contrasted with the actual apartments, uh, you know, I think it's so well done. And the score by Christoph Kermeda, um, you know, it's just absolutely stunning, uh, you know, real offbeat, um, you know, kind of uh, tones that are used in this, uh, in the score, you know, kind of piece of music here and uh, you know just the different notes uh, that are used it's just really again it gets under the skin and uh, it's just off uh, something off about the score um, which is so so great and uh, then you know you know different epic moments you could say uh, you know when it, it kind of uh, requires it and uh, you know it's just throughout you know the way it's just scored and shot and um, edited really um, for the most part it's absolutely stunning and uh, as I say the first 30 minutes is just really where the, the only flaws of the film lie and uh, obviously I'm not really too sure about the actual ending itself, um, the outcome of it, um, but other than that, you know, I think this is mostly stunning and uh, pretty much perfect um, for most of the rest of the film. Uh, you know, I think it just builded um, so, so well. It came to this kind of uh, masterful climax, uh, you know, it's quite an epic uh, moment when she goes through, you know, the door finally um, through the passageway, uh, when she finally gets uh, through there and because uh, it had been built up from the very, you know, first scenes really, uh, when she's been showing around the house, uh, the apartment there, and uh, they kind of, it's a bit odd where there's kind of a wardrobe in front of this uh, kind of thing and it's, it's kind of hidden in that sense and uh, you know the way she does uh, kind of eventually go through there uh, it's just this great epic moment and uh, then it does lead to this real uh, shocking uh, scene and uh, yeah it's just what a film this is you know I think the performances uh, the way in which um, we have restraint at uh, times uh, throughout most of the film and uh, you know just every character really played a part you know all different uh, early on moments uh, you know that even you think potentially, you know, what is the purpose of this, uh, you know, different uh, side characters, um, it all has a purpose in the end and uh, the way it's brought together is masterful, um, you know, I think it's just absolutely stunning this film and, uh, you know, I 
can't believe you know how shocking it was um you know just it really you know i was scared at first um really much uh you know very scared of this film and uh you know obviously the moment with the devil uh, in the first half an hour um you know really got to me but then it became even more scary as we went on and uh, the more she got involved in kind of unraveling this whole mystery and this plot against her and then you know roman and then you know kind of um mini going out of it upon point uh you think and uh you know kind of going on you know, going off, you know, in the, in the taxi there, and, uh, you know, I think just uh, the more and more uh, she unraveled, you know, the more I was more invested in this film, and uh, just uh, kind of disturbed by this, and uh, by the end of it, I was very much, uh, you know, affected by this film, I think just, it got under my skin, and, uh, you know, then uh, in the end, it just, it truly haunted me, all different kind of uh, threads throughout this, Abe Sapperstein, you know, Hutch as well, you know, his uh, very sad, uh, you know, kind of, you know, his demise in the film, you know, I thought he was a great character and uh, when he kind of uh, went out of it, I thought, you know, wow, you know, this is, it's all going wrong. Uh, everyone that kind of um, is on Rosemary's side is kind of uh, dying here and uh, yeah, it's just so horrible and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I think it's just so believable throughout and, uh, you know, I got so invested and enraptured in this film that it felt like it was actually happening. Uh, so it's definitely one of these scariest films and I think the restraint and uh, the way it's more subtle is one of the, you know, the reasons for it being so scary as well and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I wouldn't want it any other way really and uh, I'm glad um, you know, even in the final act uh, certain things weren't necessarily shown uh, they were just kind of um, discussed and you know kind of hinted at and just you know that final moment where we have uh, the description of the baby and uh, you know we don't actually see this really um, that's um, genius and uh, you know I think it would have been as good if we had actually you know it been revealed visually and uh, just you know, the moment when some of these characters are just kind of laughing you know they're being kind of um, flippant as well in that final moment it just it adds to the kind of um, you know how believable this is uh, as opposed to no one really being, um, you know, kind of um, bizarre in this moment, um, you know, because if it had just been them kind of stirring her in a kind of evil way, uh, you know, I think it wouldn't quite have been as effective as it was, you know, some of the characters are kind of breaking and uh, they're kind of doing strange things, to, you know, this guy is kind of, uh, he's not necessarily um, reacting in, you know, kind of a, as an aggressive way and kind of uh, in a villain way as you, you would have thought and, uh, you know, I think just that adds to the film, uh, you know, in that moment there and I think just how they're kind of still uh, being a bit more, um, you know, appearing a bit more caring to her there. It's just, it really, everything combines there. It's very complex, um, you know, the way the characters are acting there. And I think it's just perfectly portrayed and, uh, you know, just uh, people taking photos as well. It's just, it's, it's all really too much. Uh, you know, it's almost <laughs> too much to handle that final um, scene there. And uh, it's just, it's so disturbing. Uh, so yeah, from start to finish, uh, this is a film that I was invested in. Uh, you know, I think after the first, you know, half an hour or so, you know, I was, completely um, invested in this and uh, I thought it was masterful uh, really from then on and uh, you know to the final moments and uh, you know I think this is definitely one of the best horror films I've ever seen and uh, you know even though um, that first act isn't quite there for the, you know to stand up the rest of the film it's still one of the best horror films ever made and especially after that half an hour mark uh, really it's, it's one of the you know very best horrors and uh, one of the most Truly one of the most disturbing and haunting films I've ever seen. So overall, my rating for this film is a 96%. Um, so yeah, absolutely, you know, love this film and uh, extremely high score from me. And, uh, you know, I think this is definitely one of the most effective uh, horror films. And, uh, you know, just the way in which it's very subtle um, throughout and uh, just uh, very bizarre characters, you know, really disturbing characters and uh, the whole way in which it explodes the, in the occult and, uh, you know, just the sense of paranoia, the dread, and, you know, just... The impending doom really um, throughout this film and uh, the way that Rosemary cannot turn to anyone it seems like um, you know you have the charm really is just through a couple of characters like Hutch and uh, he soon gets um, killed off as well um, so it's really just Rosemary throughout the film that is the you know consistently the, the charming character the one with the heart and uh, the rest of the characters are just horrible and uh, they're really just uh, you know really, they're out to get her and uh, they're kind of um, it's they're all so disturbing and kind of um, you know in on it uh, in that sense. Just the way the characters have written and performed, uh, you know, I thought it was absolutely stunning. And, uh, you know, Sidney Blackmer playing, of course, Roman, uh, you know, especially, you know, it's very, very disturbing in this film. And uh, Ruth Gordon, as well as Minnie, and, uh, you know, as well, Ralph Bellamy um, as Abe Safferstein, uh, you know, one of the most memorable characters in the film. And, uh, you know, I just think, yeah, all of the characters really here. And, uh, you know, you've got Mia Farrow um, playing Rosemary so, so well. You know, she's just perfect in this film at times. And uh, just this innocent, you know, charm, you know, to her. And, uh, you know, all these other characters just are uh, yeah, so disturbing and uh, definitely one of the most entertaining and uh, immersive horror films after a point. And, uh, you know, I think th those flaws early on I don't hurt the film too much, um, but it's definitely not a film that in that first 25, 30 minutes, you know, I was invested, you know, in quite as much, uh, that's for sure, as the rest of the film uh, going forward. And uh, it just, it builded and builded, um, you know, towards 
climax, uh, you know, a kind of final act uh, that was something else and, uh, you know, really stuff of legends and, uh, you know, in the horror genre and, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely one of the, the best horror films, you know, among them uh, for me and uh, especially, yeah, that after that, that point in the film, uh, you know, it really is um, one of the best horror films and, uh, yeah, what can I say, you know, that's, that's my thoughts, um, you know, on this film. What do you think? It'd be great to hear your thoughts, you know, in the comments and, uh, you know, discuss this film and different horror films as well and um, how would you you know, kind of rank this, uh, you know, among uh, the best horror films and uh, all this kind of stuff. And what's your experience with this one? Uh, you know, very disturbing film, uh, so it'd be really cool to discuss this in the comments. And um, yeah, just, um, you know, I love this film and uh, definitely going to be put on my favourite films list and uh, favourite horror films list as well. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, what a film. And uh, still thinking about this uh, days on. Um, so yeah, it'd be really cool to discuss this film. And uh, yeah, obviously, the horror reviews and content, you know, still continues. And um, yeah, it'd be great to hear today your thoughts on this film and uh, you know just uh, let's discuss horror films in the comments uh, so yes as always take care and thanks for watching